They give us to Tyler Goodson. And George Karloftis, the first round pick, number 30 in the draft, came down from his defensive end position. It out on the field. I tell you what, Ari, I'm a little bit surprised. Love to throw, checks it down. Goodson makes the catch. They don't bring the pressure. Love with time. Now he's going to have to check it down. And it appears, let's see where they mark him out. I think the tackle was made. Did he get the first down is the question. That's Trent Mc On to punt. Sky Moore waits at his own 30-yard line. He's going to back up. Moore from his own 18. Makes the first guy miss. Has blockers in front. And Moore to the outside. And Moore into Packer territory. Second and long. Ronald Jones in the game. And he runs over the linebacker to get back close to the original line of scrimmage. That they could see growing into a role. 6'5", 245 tight end. That they need to fill that tight end void. Third down, Henny gets it to McKinnon, makes the catch, but well short of the yardage needed to get through the things you've talked about since his passing. This is impact not only as a player, as a broadcaster, but what he meant to this community and how involved he was in showing his love and appreciation for Chiefs Kingdom. Third down here for the Packers. Love is in some trouble. He'll escape, throw down field, and that's incomplete. And the defense gets the job done again. This defense has looked so good, the first unit. He hadn't run that play in a couple of weeks. And so when that but that play came in, he looks at him like, you're crazy. That's not what he called. No, no, that's Hank called that play. He wants that play run. And then sure enough, they get the touchdown. So the give is to Hardman. And Hardman makes a guy miss and gets the first down. He's knocked out at midfield. Good emotion. Henny, and he finds Justin Watson, and Watson has enough for a first. Time starter in this league, but has now been a backup here in Kansas City. This is his fifth year here in Kansas City as he gets the completion. Third and long. Henny with lots of time. And he's looking for McKinnon. Snap, good hold, kick is on the way, and it is good. Harrison. Goodson on the toss, no place to go. That's a terrific play there by Darius Harris. And they set up the screen, a flag comes in. They pick up just a couple yards on the screen pass. Personal foul. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Face mask. Defense. Number 23. Number That's a 15 yard penalty. An automatic first down. Back to him having an impact this season. Screen pass. And DiCaprio Boodle trying to get off the block, but it's Dion Bush who makes the tackle. Another catch there for Tyler Goodkins returning for two kicks. And George Karloftis with an incredible tackle. So these young guys are getting reps and making some moves. Winfrey makes the catch. Play action. Love. And that is complete. Dobbs makes the catch. Williams with the tackle. Oh, I mean, it's, it's certainly valuable. I mean, there's, I mean, we're away for a long time and there's a lot of football, but it, it's hard to really see these guys in this environment. It's a continuous process. And again, I'm very fortunate to have a great staff. All right, third down here. It is some space. It's Goodson. And he gets the touchdown for the Packers. Big run, baby. And there's another look at the touchdown. And Goodson breaks the tap. Come on. and lighten the atmosphere. And, and certainly um, Bobby the Bobcat was uh, <laughs> had a big say in that. Second down for Bouchelle in the shotgun. Little play action. And Bouchelle finds Ronald Jones. Little stiff arm. Game Bouchelle's pass. Um, different skill levels and, and different players that can do different things. And as you mentioned, Trent, you have Clyde and Jericho are so good in both the run and the pass. About working with Andy and Mark, there's, there's really no egos between any of us. Uh, I think we all know that for this organization to really uh, maximize what they can be both on and off the field, we need each other. Yep. And I think we have a great. Oh. 
No, no. I don't want Brian Schaefer coming to my house. Fair enough. I'm looking for it. Uh, not nifty play there to the tight end, Jody Fortson. Let's see if they can get him out in space. Sit down the field. Matt Bushman, and no one's going to touch him. Touchdown, Chiefs. It's the safety in the corner locked up. Bouchel, great job of recognition. Seeing the safety hanging to the inside on the dig route allows Bushman to get behind it. Accurate throw. Bushman last year after spending the, the season on practice squad with the Raiders, getting an opportunity here in Kansas City. We just got through talking about the depth they needed tight end. Back at the 2005 Pro Bowl, and, and, I, and I knew he had big plans ahead. So, so tell, him, tell him the more you can do. He talked about the K-ball guy. The more you can do, little boys. My daughter is only a couple months old. So uh, I'm like, dang, Steve, you got a lot, you got a lot, of, you got a lot of energy going on here. Played, he was real serious on the field, but boy, off the field, a ton of fun. And that pass is complete. Amari Rogers to catch. Joshua Williams in coverage. Standing this defense and how quickly he's adapting and learning and picking things up. Patrick Taylor the catch. Taylor, first down and more for the Packers. Love, time, finds a receiver who breaks a tackle. Two red. And waiting for a signal. He's going to be just shy of the goal line. Again, it's Taylor, and he pushes the pile. And they say he's not in just shy. It's going to bring all fans out of, up and out of their seats. It's Taylor. He gets hit by Chanel, but he is he in? There's a flag down. And now with a big hit. Illegal formation. Illegal formation. Offense. The tackle was left uncovered and on the end of the line. It's a five-yard penalty. Still third down. Delivers, it's incomplete. My man makes the kick. Oh, I think they'll be able to sneak it by on the practice squad again. I think someone else would, would draw that attention. Uh, so then it becomes a matter of putting three guys on the roster because... Michelle in the middle of the field. Now he's going to tuck and run. Smart decision there to go down. He's just shy of the first down. Michelle rolling to his right. And that ball is knocked down, so it brings up fourth down. He was more of a corner doing those types of things, gaining weight, getting bigger. Now all of a sudden Cincinnati, where a year ago he started 14 games for the Bearcats. Put together a heck of a season. It was all conference and got together. You go to meetings together, then go back and hang out in the hotel together. You're going to uh, be a tight knit group, and that's what uh, the Chiefs are hoping to have for a long time. Amari Rogers with the catch. Well, so now is you know plus 40 just seems to be the norm. Jordan Love down the field, and that's picked off, and it's Brian Cook. And Cook on the return, he across the 45 yard line. There is a flag back. At the 25, but Brian Cook make. Here's an eye on Cook as he drops back into deep coverage. Not a whole lot of room there for Love to drop that ball in. As I said, it sailed a little bit. Cook was in position. I think there's the block in the back. Coleman is deep for the Chiefs. And here we go. Short kick. Coleman from the two-yard line. Coleman gets a good block. Coleman across the 40. And finally brought down at the 46-yard line. A great return by the former first-round pick back in 2016. A guy who's really impressed you and who was teetering on that fine line of being cut, but then he went out and balled out. He said, yeah, think about last season. Number six, our quarterback, Bouchelle. That's confidence in him. But for Shane Bouchelle to take that next step to give this coaching staff the confidence to where they think they can move him up to be the backup, Ronald Jones going at it again, picking up another first down. He ran. 
quick hitter, and it's Fountain right up the sideline. It's going to be first and goal for the Chiefs. Michelle completes it, and can you believe it? Matt Bushman, second touchdown of the night. Well, and that was very nearly. Fountain, it looks like, wasn't able to get the block done. And that ball nearly gets picked off. The zone doing a great job over there for the KC Chiefs. I was fortunate. I did five seasons of NFL Europe, and the Germans love American football. And to have the Chiefs is a great fit. And I'm telling you, they have mastered the tailgate in Germany. Pacheco so far, three carries, 23 yards. And it's Bouchelle, and he just flips it forward. And it's Bushman again. What a night. What a night. <laughs> just a, you know, that, that, that speaks a lot to the way we practice. You know, we go hard, and that makes a, the game feel slow from time to time. So I love the way we practice, and, you know, that transfers onto the field. Uh, now, your quarterback, Patrick Mahomes, he kind of gave you a little bit of grief after that first sack. He was like, yo, what are you doing with your celebration? Rumor has it. He's, he's practicing some celebrations with you. I tell you what, he can celebrate however he wants <laughs> as right? long as he keeps getting sacks. That, that would be my thing. It's like, hey, you can, you can just walk off the field if you want. The last defensive end drafted in the first round out of Purdue, Ryan Kerrigan, who had a great career, recently retired. I'm sure the Chiefs would be thrilled if Carl Loftus can put together a career. They win, and he gets stuffed in the backfield. Well, there was some miscommunication getting lined up. And uh, nobody blocks Heflin in the middle there. He just goes right between in the B-gap. Doesn't give Pacheco much of a chance. Williams in the backfield. Play action for Love. Collide, no flag on the play, and let's go again to Kimmy. You know, that mindset to the season, just trying to, you know, take advantage of all my opportunities. All right, you guys, give it up one more time. Very nice. And Jordan Love is tackled. Wide receiver spot is maybe up for grabs, and guys like Cornell Powell and Doris Fountain are leaving it all out there trying to snag it. Pacheco, nice carry on first down, and he picks up eight yards on the play time there showing some patience in his running something that people have been a little critical of uh, there's here, the speed to get yeah. around the corner that's a great run there Pacheco picks up the first down hard yards there we'll call it a gain of three Bouchelle, nice pocket. Now he's going to step up and try to run for it. And does not get close to the first down. He's four yards shy. Danny Etling is in at quarterback for the Packers. And that should do it for the third quarter. And he's going to keep it. And he picks up a Packer first down has embraced you in a way I don't think I've seen uh, before regarding a center and that also is the help of a local radio station where they started kind of a rookie campaign a creed is good tell people about that because I think it's amazing it was crazy last year for sure you know being a rookie coming in and just getting that warm welcoming welcoming from everybody and you know it was it was really cool so uh next off season not to look too far ahead everybody in the division shaking things up trying to catch the Kansas City Chiefs Six straight AFC West titles for the Chiefs. That's a nice play there. Aaron Parker makes the catch. Number 21, second-year man out of Rhode Island. Fleet Davis with the football. He gets across the 45-yard line, and let's check in with Matt McMullen. Well, to point out, he wanted to point out, he said, listen, that defensive, defensive tackle group is very talented. Toure makes the catch. Jim, you're already on the team. I'm trying to make the team. I'm trying to do everything I can. I'm trying to stay in the lead. The catch the is brutal. Oh, yes. The corner comes up to get the sack. The 
Steve Spagnolo not wasting his, or saving any of his blitz packages, coming with double. But I thought well, he's like, listen, keep that clock going. I'm like, no, no, I'm trying to make a team. So everybody's got a little bit different perspective what they're trying to get done here. Hyman makes the catch. Well short of a first down, the Packers will be forced to punt. Dino Dustin Crum, we saw his numbers in the preseason, and those guys are all listening in and trying to support him. Now, ball was on the grass, but fortunately, Fleet Davis able to track it down. Looks forward to that competition. That's why, that's why they're in this business. Fleet Davis on the screen. He navigates it nicely. He gets across the 50. Similar to you. Uh, I, I thought maybe he'd go away for a year or two, try and get healthy, try and... Uh, Get that love or passion for the game again, and uh, but he didn't. Etling pump fake, and he's gonna. Canella makes the catch, breaks the tackle, and Canella picks up a first down for the Packers. Trying to find ways in this division to to get after the quarterback. Patrick Taylor makes the catch. And it appears the Packers will let the clock wind down to the two-minute warning. Enough to spend a, a good chunk of the second quarter with us, and those guys are so valuable to us as we get up to speed on the Chiefs each and every August. Let's see. Pass interference, Pass interference. Defense. defense, number 93. Number 93. The ball placed at the spot of the foul, automatic. First down. A big thanks to our boss, the Chief. A great position to be successful. And on a personal note, a big thanks to my spotter and one of my best friends, Mike Fox. Great job, Foxy. And Trent, uh, you, you went you went above and beyond having the whole crew out to the house. It's always great to work with you. Enjoyed the preseason. And uh, Foxy says next year you better put him first in your list of thank you. Fair, fair. He, he doesn't want to be towards the end. He wants to be first. It's just Kansas City and, and being a part of this organization, playing for the organization for six years. And now getting a chance to uh, to be close to him during the preseason. And a Kansas City woman, someone who loves the Chiefs, Kimmy Checks and Matt McMullen, our insider. Uh, they provide so much, and they've done an outstanding job. And it's just a, a great crew. And you know, the dinners the night before the games are. It's incomplete. No flags, and the Chiefs are going to win and Travis Kelsey and then on defense it was pretty much everyone so uh, there was something that Andy Reid wanted to see here in this final preseason game from his starters prior to getting ready for that first game in Arizona you know and then his next career as a broadcaster but it was more him as a person you talk to people around town that got to know Lynn over the years and, and really the quality person that he was has had such a lasting impression on this franchise